Fine illustrates the havoc caused by the crash. Many passengers had amazing escapes. The gale still blows and heavy seas still break on the Cornish coast and over the remains of the Alba wrecked last year. Here at St Ives, the sad sequel to the lifeboat disaster is recorded. The coffins of John Cocking and his father, the coxswain, are born from the widowed mother's home. Matthew Barber, another victim, is buried on the same day and the whole town mourns. The funerals of the other men who lost their lives are to follow. Tom Cocking, another son, walks with his sisters and supported on her way to the church is another heartbroken mourner. They were brave men, these lifeboatmen, who gave their lives to save others. In a graveyard overlooking the stormy sea, they rest in peace. Even while the sea takes its toe, a new